Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. Today is a good day, because we're going to be ranking the mini events from 2022 from worst to best. So this is like something I like to do every year. We always start off with the mini events, because the mini events obviously close out first. So now Atom Smasher is coming to a close, and the Christmas update is around the way. I figured this is a good chance to do the video. And uh, we'll get to, you know, major event characters, NPCs, buildings, yeah, get costumes. We'll get all to that after the Christmas update wraps up, or as it is wrapping up we'll probably start the rest of my lists but this is something i like to do uh, it's really fun to rank them from worst to best obviously if you don't agree with my list that is cool you can let me know but we're going to be getting into it straight away starting off with what i think is the worst mini event of the year and that goes to red alert actually yeah so i'm going to give the worst to red alert i think this is it was very close to the next one on the list, which you'll obviously see, but I just think this one has to get the worst because there's not really much I like about this one uh, in the prize track. As with the other one, the next one on the list, there is a few things that I do enjoy within the prize track. So let's just start off with the free stuff. Start off with the prize track. Here it is. So obviously it begins with the general, who I think is arguably one of the most forgettable, boring characters of the year. Um, I feel like nobody remembers this dude. Possibly one of the worst characters of the year, to be honest. Um, just very forgettable, very boring. Kind of weirdly placed in the event, I feel. Uh, it was definitely better generals. Like, the dude who runs the Rommel would have kind of be, I think, would have been a better general. Um, yeah, just not a very interesting character. And starting him off, you know, starting the prize track off with, like, a bit of a stinker is uh, wasn't a very good sign. Then we have the only building which is in the prize track, the Withstandinator, which is so puny looking. And it's just, one again, one of the worst buildings of the year. Uh, we have one of the worst characters. This is probably, if not, I don't know if I'd say it's the worst of the year, but it's definitely one of the worst of the year. It's probably going to make my top ten. I'm 90% sure of it. Yeah, just a really crappy disgusting, ugly, boring looking building you can't really do much with and um, honestly maybe it should be a decoration I think there's an argument there uh, yeah, just not very good. The Springfield Sculpture Garden, I actually really like. I dig this one. I think it's the one highlight in the prize track. Uh, I think it's the best thing in the prize track, so that's pretty cool. Homer's Bomb Shelter, I do like, and I, I like the fact that they have added it. I just feel iffy with it taking an entire spot in the prize track. It's cool to have, and it's a funny little item, but... It is just a cardboard box with an umbrella on it, and and making that like sort of take an entire place in the prize track is a bit weird. I think it would have been better if they combined it with something, threw it in the store, threw it in a combo with the premium building, whatever you want to do. I just think it's the wrong place for it. Or, alternatively, put it with the super premium item, obviously Radioactive Homer. Uh, yes, that would have been a bit annoying, making it, but I think I would have preferred that for it taking an entire spot in the prize track. But I can't complain too much about the item itself, it is kind of neat. And then finally the missile bunker. I'm, I'm like 50-50 on whether I how much I like this. I do kind of I do kind of dig it. It is it does look pretty cool. As a final prize, it kind of makes sense in the sort of quest line that they um put out, but yeah, I don't know. I, maybe if they just made it a little bit bigger, a little bit more grandiose, it could have been a bit more interesting. Uh, uh, I just I just don't have much to say about it is my issue. I don't hate it. I don't love it either. So it just kind of is what it is. So overall, a pretty weak prize track to me. And then we come on to the premium. Now, I think Joe as a character is a little bit meh, but I really dig the building he comes with. I think the building he comes with, Sergeant Fugg's Mountaintop Command Post, I think it looks really, really cool. Some people don't agree with me, but I do think it's one of the better looking buildings of the year. One of the best buildings of the year. It's partly because it is a mountaintop building. I, I'm just going to always go crazy for them. They look really awesome to me. And yeah, there's a little less freedom with them because you can't place them anywhere else other than the mountains. But I, I do think they just look really cool and they just decorate themselves. You don't have to do anything with them. And plus, they don't take any other space up in your town. They, they go on the mountains. So, um, you know, it's space that you couldn't use anyway. So, yeah, I, I love the building. I can't say I care too much about the character. And then Radioactive radioactive Homer, I hate. I think it was the wrong one. They should have gone with the Hulk one, obviously. Uh, this one's just kind of boring, really. Not very exciting quests, not very exciting tasks, not very exciting animations. Um, overall, uh, not a great super premium item. Nothing really redeemable about it. It doesn't even look cool as a costume anyway. Um, 
I think overpriced. I don't think it was relevant. If there was the Hulk coma, I might feel differently. I might give it some praise, but it's just not exciting enough for me to get too excited about. So, um, yeah, overall, red alert. Not a great update. Worst update of the year, in my opinion. Uh, I hope you agree with me, because uh, this one was a stinker and a really bad start to the year. The Atom Smasher. Of course this was going to make the second worst. Now, I don't know if I might have said in my review that it was the worst update of the year. Um, I was wrong. No, I do think Red Alert is worse. I think in the heat of the moment. Uh, and now my recency bias has kind of faded somewhat. Now, just to be clear, with talking about the Atom Smasher, I'm separating the Black Friday stuff. I kind of consider that separate. So we're only going to be talking about the actual Atom Smasher update and the Super Pre... Uh, the the premium combo that comes with it, meaning that this is the only update technically not to have super premium just because obviously they reserved that for Black Friday. Now, that doesn't really add anything to this update, and if anything, that kind of makes this update worse because it just means that there was, um, yeah, not much to offer. So, we'll do the same, we'll start off with the price track. So, price track wise, there is definitely some cool things in here, and that's why I think this is better ultimately than Red Alert. The choke cam, I think, is a really, really awesome decoration, and I have no complaints about it whatsoever. The Tex Ida Football Academy, I think, is a building that pops. It looks really cool. I love the look of it. Grayson Mathis Sports Car, although I appreciate them actually adding the character's car to the prize track, it is a bit of a boring prize to unlock, let's be honest. It doesn't look anything, you know, too unique, and it is a uh, very bland kind of colour, and it doesn't do anything when you put it in your town. There's no, like, animation with it or anything. So, it is a boring item. And it takes a whole spot in the price track. Which is a bit annoying. But they could have added it in a combo. Would have been a bit better. But not a big deal. Sports Wardy Center. I kind of like. I do. I dig the, the look of this building. I think it looks pretty awesome. And I'm happy with it. So, that's all the good of the update. <laughs> now it's all bad. Uh, but, you know, three really good items for sure. And I think that's why this update's uh, somewhat elevated a little bit for me. Now, we have Caitlyn. Boring character. Boring quest line. Boring animations. I think kind of... Well, the quest line wasn't too bad, but I don't know. For me, I just don't care for. I, I think um, the whole influencer thing is just bizarre to me. It just doesn't commute to me in, in a in a sort of Simpsons setting. I just think she's a boring character. And part of that is to do with the show, don't get me wrong. Um but you know it's up to tap out sometimes to make more you know boring characters interesting. Like take Daisy McGunnan from last year. I will as much as you want to say how bad Daisy McGunnan is because she's super premium, I think she was a, a really, really interesting character in the fact that they took a, a blink and you miss it uh character who doesn't even do anything. Is literally just there for like a sweep over shot. And they actually sort of turned her into a pretty interesting character within Tapped Out, despite her being super premium. They could have done something like that with Caitlyn. I just don't think they've done anything interesting with her at all. I think in a year's time, I'm going to completely forget who she is. Then we come on to the premium. So Grayson Mathers, I think, is in a similar vein to Caitlyn. Very boring, very forgettable. Uh, I probably would put him a tiny, tiny little inch above her, but not by much. He himself is... I think, it, and it really just comes down to his look, the fact that he kind of has the football jersey on, <laughs> whereas Caitlyn just has, like, a, a generic-looking dress. Um, and it, it's so arbitrary, I know, but that's honestly my opinion. Um, yeah, just very forgettable character as well. And the building he comes with, oh, I hate it. The Springfield Atom Stadium. Now, this should be huge. It should be, you know, a big-ass building because it's a stadium. And they've just reduced it to this tiny, minute, stupid-looking thing. And it's just not scaled correctly. And for a building that I really wanted to see in the game, obviously this is the Buzz Cola Dome, just under a different name. Uh, it's It's a bit... Of a shame to me that they've kind of butchered it. They really have butchered it. So I, I just hate that building <laughs> uh, with a passion. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it now because obviously we don't count the Black Friday stuff. So overall, just very forgettable things. And I think the characters are the things that uh, bring it down. I, for me, the most important things is always buildings and characters. I, I think both, I, ha I sort of hold both buildings and characters above uh, decorations because decorations aren't, you know, that big of a thing to me or as important to me although decorations can be really really cool as we'll get on to with some updates in a bit but yeah um i just don't think this update was very memorable and even the buildings i do like i don't think are anything too amazing so for me it's got to be the second worst of the year the atom smasher
Hot diggity do. That's right, hot diggity do. Whew. This video has already gone a little bit over than I, what I wanted it to be. I was hoping 20 minutes. It's probably going to be more. Anyway, hot diggity do. Okay. Um, I love the theme of this. I think it's out there, it's wacky, it's stupid, and I think I, w I want more mini-updates like this, you know, with silly themes. I remember, like, ages ago, I kind of proposed a communist event, and it sounds really dumb, but, you know, there's some interesting things you could add to that and relate to it, and it's all from, like, a little skit. And um, this one, they basically took, they were like, we want to make an update about hot dogs. And they added three sort of hot dog related characters, some kind of loosely related buildings. And, it, you know, I think it's, it's a fun little update. I just don't think in practice it turned out too great. Uh, so we'll start off with the price track, as always. Starting off with the hot dog cart. Makes sense to add the hot dog cart to the update, clearly, because, I mean... It's a it's a hot dog cart clearly, but it is a bit it is a bit boring. Let's be honest, it's a bit boring in the prize track. Um, if it had an animation, maybe with Homer, if it had something more with it, like some cool little thing when you tap it, I may be a little bit more forgiving of it. But as it is, it's a bit of a boring thing to add to the prize track. The Homer Schnitzel, love the building, pops, looks great, no complaints. Doctor Hot Dog now. I think this was the wrong character to be the free character. I think Sergeant Sausage should have been the free character, and Hot Dr. Hot Dog should have been the super premium. Mainly because Sergeant Sausage, I think, is a very solid character. And even the fact he's super premium, I, part of me wants to praise him to the moon, because I still think he's really, really cool, despite being super premium. Dr. Hot Dog's just kind of forgettable to me. I just don't care too much for him, so... Yeah, just... Just, uh... Nothing great to say about him. Um, kind of meh. I mean, he looks really cool. I'll give him that. <laughs> uh, Acne Grease Co. Truck is... So, there's, there's, it's either, it's one of two things. I think this one's probably scaled correctly, but the building that it should be, you know, the building that you should design this alongside is, is scaled completely wrong. I think this one is scaled okay, actually. So, I've got no complaints about it. I think it's fine to be in the price track as well. Uh, Springfield Meatball Factory. Uh, just a... Bit of a dull building. I think it's my only complaint. I mean, it's fine, but it's, uh, it's just a bit dull looking, really. Uh, and nothing to get too excited about designing. And then we come to the premium. So we got Deuce. I was very disappointed what they did with Deuce. I, I disagree with him being in the, in the best character award, by the way. But, um, yeah, I just, I just don't like Deuce, really. I think they undersold him. He doesn't have any task with his... Uh, little restaurant that was already added in the game. He his animations kind of make no sense. They they're a bit random and his quest lines a bit wacky as well. I just yeah, I just don't think they did anything that interesting with his character when they really could and he definitely was a character that I really wanted to see added in the game, especially because they already added his restaurant without him and I was like we need Deuce to come with the goddamn restaurant. Yeah, and I, overall I was just very disappointed for what they what they did with him and I kind of don't care for his character now in the game and uh the building he comes with obviously the grease recycling plant massively underscaled i think this is one of the worst scaled buildings of the year again the the truck the grease co truck next to it looks huge but the truck is meant to go into the garage like literally where we see that truck in the episode it's driving into the garage that you can see on this building so this building is... And I don't think the truck's scaled wrong. I think the truck's actually scaled right. This building is scaled wrong. This is meant to be a big recycling plant. It's huge. When we see Homer and Bar and, and the characters next to it, it should be bigger. <laughs> what is up with tapped out scalings this year? They're all... There's so many buildings are just scaled wrong. And yeah, I want to get excited about this building because it's kind of neat and you know quirky and, and funny. But I just, I just think it's scaled so badly. And I just don't like it. And then finally, one big positive. Sergeant Sausage. He's super premium. Sure. Part of me doesn't care. He's worth it. He's a very solid character. Solid animations. Really fun quest line. Honestly a blast. Um, if he wasn't super premium, I think he might be the best character of the year. And I still think he probably he has a good chance of making top 10 despite being super premium. Um... Yeah, uh, no complaints. Sergeant Sausage was the one silver lining in this entire update, and I, I've, I've kind of come around to Super Premium somewhat. If they are really, really, really cool, I might give a pass. And I think, do you know what? I'm doing it. I'm giving a pass for Sergeant Sausage. He was he was awesome, and I think definitely the, the best part of this update. Overall, definitely some good in this update for sure. 
I don't know where, if I would say it was good or bad. It's somewhere in between. I'll have to decide later on in the year what I, my definitive answer is. But um, yeah, I think this is like the middle ground of the year for sure. This kind of um, is the epitome of the. I mean, this is an epitome of the ever met update. You know, it's got some good, some bad, but overall, you're like, eh, wasn't that great. But yeah, anyway, that is hot diggity dough. Splash and burns. I want to say burns. Burn. Splash and burn. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's talk about this one. So, a summer event. Pretty neat. Pretty cool. Yeah, doing a doing a nice summer. Now, I think some people might disagree with my placement here. I think some people might put Hot Diggity Dough above this one. The main reason why I've put this one here above Hot Diggity Dough mainly becomes because I really, really dig all of the um, decorations. Now, I disagree with them being decorations, but I still think they look so cool. They're so, they pop so much. And, um, yeah, I have to kind of give a, a pass. I, I guess you have to weigh these things out, you know? And I think, it, in the grand scheme of things, does them being decorations instead of a building matter too much to the town? Not really, because cash isn't that important anyway. And the fact that the techni you know, technically isn't a building isn't a massive issue really to me in the sort of grand scheme of things. Uh, although it is annoying, and we'll get into it. But yeah, um, the update has is terrible in terms of characters and uh, and costumes, and we'll get into that in a bit. But uh, I definitely think this update has a lot of exciting items in it and so let's start with the prize track which i think is a very very cool um yeah so we got swimsuit homer and i will say for a starter terrible awful co awful costume boring doesn't look very good uh, awful animations awful tasks big stinker big thumbs down and then we have the quiet rivers bundle Amazing. They did a bundle of decorations. And they're not even like small little crappy decorations like the billboards. These are free, individual, individual, really, really awesome looking buildings. And I think this bundle right here is probably single-handedly the reason as to why this, to me, is above hot diggity dough. Because all three of them are just neat, neat uh, little decorations. You've, so you've, of course, got the water toes, the ankle soaker, and the SPF 60 Adventure. All of them look awesome. And I think they all are fair as decorations too. The Wave Walker, I think, is a little... Could be a little bit bigger, but I'm, I'm happy enough with it. Again, I do think this one should have been a building, but whatever. It, it's not a huge deal. It looks pretty neat. The Devil's... Uh, how do you say this? <laughs> how do you say this? The Devil's Ride. Anyway, it, it's pretty... Um, it's pretty good. It looks really cool. And it makes sense to be this part in the um, deluge? Deluge. Deluge. Devil's deluge. That's a weird word to me. Um, yeah, it, it looks really cool. And it makes sense to kind of be this. I think, actually, no. It probably makes more sense for it to be the final part of the prize track. Did I say it is the final in the prize track? It's not the final in the prize track. Ignore me. Um, yeah. Uh, this one... I think it's scaled right. It looks cool. Uh, it should be a building, obviously, but um, overall, I'm very, very happy with it. And then H2O. <sighs> it starts off... This this prize track starts off with something awesome. Uh, sorry, something crappy and ends with something crappy. A lot of people don't mind H2O. I hate it because it's scaled wrong. <laughs> We're coming back to the scale things. This is the third time I've complained about a scaled a, bil a building scale wrong. Yeah, it's just not scaled right. In the update, in the in the show, it's meant to be massive. The line is huge. Bart looks at it. And it's it's this grandiose ride, and this is the final prize in a prize track. It should be the size of the tooth chipper, which we already have in the game. That's how big this building should be. It's meant to be massive, and they've scaled it. So, so so massively down. It's so boring. It looks just so dull. I hate it. And um, yeah, terrible, terrible building to, to, to finish the event off. Not good. And then we move on to the premium, which is of course Paul Flaw. <laughs> so Paul Flaw actually plays a massive role in this event. I just think he's so generic, so boring, so one note. His qu he's not interesting, his quest line's boring, his animations are crap. Um, yeah, terrible. Terrible character all around. Do not care for him. One of the worst of the year. Uh, one of these examples of just like an uncreative parody character who has like nothing interesting about him. But the building he comes with, Mount Splash Ball Slide. Oh, 
Mwah! Mwah! Just, I, I just want to give it all the kisses in the world, all right? All the chef's kisses. This building is uh, orgasmic. I'm going to use that word, okay? It's, it's, it's the building I love. My, maybe one of, it's in my top five for sure. Top five buildings of the year, definitely. It looks awesome. Scaled correctly. Uh, no complaints. A perfect building. It pops. It's beautiful. And that's why I think as well why this update is above um, Hot Diggity Do for me. Just um, some much more interesting buildings. Like I'll I'll take this over that grease recycling plant any day. It's amazing. Um, yeah. And then we'll come on to the super premium. Sorry. Some more negativity. Uh, the Ken Brockman costume. Uh, swimsuit Brockman. Just again. Don't care for Bad animations, bad task, bad all round, just looks ugly. I mean, no offense to Ken Brockman. Uh, the Void should be a building. If you're making a super premium um, costume combo, it should be a building he comes with. And there's no excuse for why this shouldn't, this couldn't be a building. I mean, it's a bride, it, and you already made the H2 Woe a building. So I think this one is the only one, is the only case where I am going to sort of. Uh, I know I said it's not a big deal, but to me, this one is a big deal because. If you're making a super premium item, it should be coming with a building, not a decoration. And especially when there's no reason as to why this couldn't be uh, a building instead of a decoration. So, yeah, just not happy with that one, really. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. So, overall, Splash and Burn, uh, yeah, definitely some great things in this update for sure. But I think all around, the characters and costumes let this one down massively. And also, H2O. With H2O was a little bit bigger, I think... It would have had a chance of beating the next one on our list. But, I digress. Let's get to the next one on our list. Tragic Magic is next. Now, it was very hard to determine uh, my best mini up update from this and the one that's obviously won it. Because I loved this update a lot. Tragic Magic. I think it's great. And I do think this update is a very, very solid awesome ass update i have very little complaints about this one so don't worry i think honestly this year only had two good mini updates for me like two very solid mini updates and uh, this definitely is one of them so let's get into it so first off we have the prize track the great simp cena obviously pro the theme magic cool cool theme great simp cena very, very good costume. Was not expecting it to be that great. Was expecting it to be pretty forgettable. But honestly, very, very awesome. The turret table. Uh, again, I was expecting this to be a crappy little interior. And not care too much about it. But it's got a really, really cool little animation with Princess Opal. And it gives you an animation for the fortune teller. And obviously, bo obviously both of those are premium characters. But obviously the fortune teller is in the mystery box anyway. So it always gives you the chance to eventually unlock her. And actually have that little animation. Um, so... I, I think that's cool. I do think uh, it's kind of elevated the tarot table. And this is sort of an example of when I say, like, oh, well, this prize is a little bit crappy, to be on its own in the prize track. And I think if the tarot table didn't have that, I would say the same thing about it. But the fact is it has something extra to add. And so that's why I think it's justified it being in the prize track on its own. The Magic Shop. I don't mind it. I do think it is a little meh to me. Uh, it's just a little dull looking. Uh, but it's not bad. It's, it's definitely okay. Mesmerino uh, was a pretty, pretty cool character. I was expecting a little bit more from him, but I think he was definitely pretty solid. Uh, cool little, uh, His animations are okay, and his quest line's pretty... Mm, I think it was a bit meh, but it was it was fine. Uh, I don't think I hated it anyway. Fortune Teller Machine. It's, it's a little bit of a letdown for the final prize, especially because it doesn't do anything. Uh, I think one little thing they could have done, just to improve it ever so slightly, is when you tap it, it gives you like a little dialogue box, like a little fortune, uh, similar to what the little frog prints, you know, that could have elevated it and kind of justified it being the final prize a little bit more to me. Uh, definitely not nothing I hate, I don't hate it, I think on its own it looks fine, uh, I, again it kind of comes back to this, it needed to have like a justification for it being in the prize track, especially being the final item, I expect the final item to be something a little bit more interesting than that. But um, definitely not a bad prize track by any measure. And then moving on, we come on to the premium character. So Princess Opal, surprisingly one of the best characters of the year for me. 
top ten, maybe we'll see. I've, I've already promised a lot of top tens, and I'm not going to be able to to <laughs> come out with that that promise. But I definitely think she's one of the stronger characters, especially on the surface. I wouldn't have thought she would be that interesting, but I think her quest line was really really awesome. Uh, her animations are great for the most part, and um, you know, simple but but you know, good and. Yeah, they really played on her character. A very classic character too. So I was happy enough with her. And then the building she comes with, Princess Opals. I think it's fine. Again, nothing to go crazy about. But nothing to sort of shun and hate. It's just one of those standard sort of block, you know, rectangular buildings. That you can kind of place with a lot of other uh, similar buildings. And I think... I don't want to underestimate them because those those types of buildings are useful to the game. If we always got like mansions and big grandiose buildings, that wouldn't be very good because we need to have buildings like this now and again just to sort of um, you know easily decorate and fit into our little retail areas and all that. So I'm happy enough with the building, no complaints whatsoever. And then the super premium Diablo, we'll talk about first. Um, yeah, just a little little meh. I didn't I didn't hate him. I didn't love him. I think he's a bit he's a bit meh to me and. Um, I think that explains him pretty well. Uh, Questline, didn't care too much for. Animations could have been a little bit better. And obviously he comes with the killer team. It would have been very cool to have him actually have an animation with the killer team. Maybe actually like inside of it. Uh, again, that would have made the killer team a little bit cooler. But, you know, they gave us something with the character at least. So I have to somewhat praise that. Because they could have just had a Diablo on his own. Um, yeah, overall, they're just a bit of a mess, Super Premium, but definitely not a bad one. Not on Sergeant Sausage level, but not on Radioactive Man, you know, down there in the dumps. It's not like, it's it's somewhere in between, but I would say closer to Sergeant Sausage than Radioactive, uh, Radioactive Homer. It's not that bad. So yeah, overall, Tragic Magic, honestly, an update I adored. I think it was a great, great little, uh, great theme, um... You know, two great characters, one mech character and a great costume for Lisa, and obviously both a costume and a character in the prize track. That's awesome. But, 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 there's an update which I just think is a little bit better. And that update, obviously, that update is, can we have that drum roll, please? When the bow breaks. So I've realised my uh, laptop, my mic has been right next to my laptop the entire recording, so, uh, it's probably sounded like ass, and I really apologize for that. But anyway, when the bow breaks, a great, great little update. Now you might be thinking, well, you got you went crazy for that tragic magic update. Why are you putting this above it? On second glance, I definitely think this is the superior update. Not by much, but it is. So let's start off with that prize track. Now look at this. There's not a single thing in this prize track that I hate, okay, or have much of an issue with. Sand tropes, pops, pops, really cool decoration, awesome. Overall, chef kiss. Hudson's house, looks nice. For mansions, I'm getting sick of mansions. This one stands out, it looks really cool. It's not too hard to decorate, kind of, you know, you place it, place it in a fancy mansion area, kind of decorates itself, no complaints at all. Not responsible for injuries park, mwah. This one is even better than Santropes. This one looks cool. They encompassed the entire park, scaled it down a little bit, but not so much where it looks stupid. It's it's well scaled. It looks cool. I, I love it. No complaints. My only thing is, I kind of wish... They, well, they could have maybe made the Santropes and the Not Responsible for Injury Park uh, buildings. I think they're sort of ones where I'm like kind of iffy, like 50-50 on them being buildings or decorations. I don't mind either way. And um, yeah, to be honest, it's it's okay. The jogging strollery, um, that one, I, I, I think, yeah, it looks a little, it's a little mini, it's a little kind of crappy looking. Uh, you know, it's one of those rectangular buildings. But like I said with the Princess Opals, it, it's a building we need, you know. We need to have these kind of rectangular buildings now and again. And so I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat, I don't really care for, I don't really care that it's kind of small, you know. Uh, a little bit crappy looking. It's... It's fine. It, it looks fine to me. And um, I don't mind it taking a place in the price track at all. And uh, I don't think it, it weighs the price track down or anything. So I'm happy enough with it. Definitely the, the, the worst thing in the price track. But definitely not a bad item. And then Courtney. Uh, pretty solid character. I loved her all round. I think good quest line. Decent enough animations. Um, and, you know, she's a free character. So, yeah, pretty happy with Courtney. 
not as good as the premium character though, which we'll get onto, uh, which is Hudson. Now, I do have one complaint about Hudson, and that's that I do think he should have had one independent animation. Now, both his animations are with Maggie, which to me makes sense to have an animation with Maggie because he's a Maggie-centric character, but I do think he should have had one independent of her or a, a third bonus one independent of, of her. Uh, but that being said, both his animations with Maggie I love. I think they're both very, very solid animations for sure. His quest line's pretty decent enough as well. Uh, yeah, overall, very, very solid character. The building he comes with, which was called the preempt the Center for a Preemptive Education. Uh, this one looks very similar to a building that we've already got in the game. The one that comes with Leopold, I forget its name. It does look very similar to that building, but... Um, that's about where my complaints kind of end, really. Uh, it could have been scaled a little bit bigger as well. Uh, I think definitely the, the, the negative thing, the most negative thing in this update is probably that uh, building there. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Let's get on to Super Premium. Big Baby Barney. So, despite being a Super Premium costume, it looks cool. Pretty decent animations and uh, a pretty funny quest line. I can't lie. <laughs> I didn't hate Big ba Baby Barney. And also, this is a super premium item. This is the first one of the year that did this, which has a pre like a combo. Sorry, not premium, and it comes with lullabies. And lullabies is a building that pops, looks good, and I think this one is. I'd be a lot more accepting of super premiums if they were like this. If they were just a character or costume combo with a building, I think I'd be a lot more, uh, you know, happy with super premiums kind of being here to stay if they just were a little bit more worth it. And so, for this one, I think it is somewhat worth it. Could be a little less, let's be honest. But uh, no massive complaints about this Super Premium item. I think this is probably my favourite Super... Mm, ooh. I think in terms of value, it's my favourite Super Premium item of the year. Obviously, Sergeant Sausage is amazing. But um, this one was a very good value, you know. Um, I think a very, very solid building and a very cool uh, costume for Barney. So yeah, overall, this update is the best of the year. I wasn't expecting, when I first looked at it, I thought I was going to have Tragic Magic. But after just looking over it, yes, Tragic Magic does have both a character and a costume in the prize truck, which is very, very cool uh, costume character. But um, yeah, I, I just think the, the parks and the buildings are just elevated that little bit above because some of the decorations in, in the Tragic Magic just weren't that great. And this is kind of one which has... Um, I don't hate the the decorations in Tragic Magic, don't get me wrong, like the tarot table, I think that's very, very cool, and it justified it, it's, it justified its place in the price track, but compared to, like, the parks, it's just, it's just, there's no shot, you know, it's, it's, the parks are way better, let's be honest. So, yeah, Boy Battle Breaks, best mini update of the year for me, it's getting the Magnus Roberts seal of approval for best mini update of the year, uh, let me know what your ones are, if you disagree with me, it'll be cool to see, we can have a little debate in the comment section, if you want. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Obviously, once the Christmas update has kind of been and gone, I will do my best major updates. I'm actually probably going to follow this up maybe next week with the best minor updates, which hopefully will be a very small video, because that, that's literally just the Shattered Dreams Mystery Box, 10th Anniversary, and the... what's it called? Black Friday, 2022. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Good bizzle.